13, desecration sacrilege all since 2011, hundreds of desecration of sacrilege in, in church from 2012 which make the singlish Christians cry. You can see it is published by a leading journal newspaper in Colombo. These pictures, the first pictures of that Jesus beheaded, Jesus bust. Here Jesus the statue itself is vandalized, the church is vandalized. Another church cross, what happened to it, the seashore. From the year 2012, day in day out, singlish churches are invaded, attacked, the church properties are damaged by pseudo Buddhist and Sri Lankan army. Free list of the 290 churches in another fold. 290 churches were attacked actually. Here you can see what happened inside a church. Ran church it looks like a battlefield after attack in 2013. Vandalized church by Buddhist and supervision of a Buddhist monks in 2013. Church properties damaged in 2013. Church cross shattered in 2013. Church disfiguring Lord's statue in 2013. Desecration and sacrilege in 2013. Desecration and sacrilege in 2013. Jaffna Bishop inspecting a Jesus statue at one of the churches in Mulithi occupied by the Sri Lankan army. Jaffna Bishop inspecting at another cross in 2013. Church altar, statues and pews destroyed in 2013. Number 14, we go to 14. Street churches, Jesus and Mother Mary idols are removed and substituted by Buddha idols. Here, uh, you know, the traffic islands, street corners, they used to have Mother Mary or Jesus small temple. It's all being removed and uh, they keep uh, removing, after removing Lord Jesus or Mother Mary, they keep Buddha's idol there. One such thing has happened in Mannar, Palli Munai. Singular Christian priests too are attacked and the churches attacked, you are going to see next. Uh, so far, we are talking about uh, in general, but here we go to specific. Ethnicity is no advantage for singular Christians. The attack on other religions happening almost every day and even singular Christians are not spied or killed. So both the killers and victims are ethnically the same except the religions. Ethnicity meaning, I want to explain the fact of belonging to a social group that has common national or cultural tradition. So both singular Christians and singular Buddhists have the same common national cultural tradition, only the religion are different. So Baptist Press published number of news items, you can Google for it. This was published on August 7, 2013. English Christian priest Pastor Pereira speaks out. He says it was a normal Sunday and 70 people gathered in the house rented as a church building for worship. Praise music wafted out of the door, prayers lifted to heaven. Pastor Samen Pereira stood behind the pulpit and asked the congregation to open their Bibles. That's when normal came to crashing in. Local ceiling authorities stormed in from and every exit demanding the church be stopped. Church members sat in shock and until a bald man in saffron robes appeared with the entrance of the village head monk, people hid in back. The one news. So the number of, uh, we only give a sample here. The next one, again by another singular Christian pastor, Tilak Jay Vikrama, he says, he explains that the traditional way of doing house church in Sri Lanka was for organized churches to just rent a house and convert it into a church building. These are types of churches, local authorities, Buddhist extremists are shutting down using violence. So this has been received wide coverage. If you go Google, hundreds of thousands are there here. There is a tag called Asia, Sri Lanka. You can see there Buddhist nationalists who believe that they must use violence and intolerance to protect Sri Lanka Buddhist heritage have been leading mobs of radicals against churches, mosques, into temples and other places of worship. This dramatic rise in intolerance coupled with government's inaction has caused many to fear this may be the new norm unless this action is taken soon. So church ran sacked 2013, police were mute spectators. This is another church in Ikadua, mob including 20 Buddhist monks attacked it earlier this month, second attack. Uh, actually, despite a police presence, a mob led by Buddhist monks barged into two churches on January 12th. Derna TV and is covered extensively, you can see TV. And Charisma TV, 16 1 2014, a mob led by Buddhist monks stormed in vandalized 
assemblies of God Church, EOG, and Calvary Free Church doing Sunday morning services this weekend. Nikudua and Sri Lanka, they come in a peaceful procession, suddenly they assemble and they attack churches. China government restricts religious freedoms and practice, says U.S. report September 16, 2011. Uh, the U.S. State Department's Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights and Labor released its report on Sri Lanka on September 13, 2011. The international press freedom covers the period from July, December 2010 and states that while Sri Lanka publicly endorses religious freedom, it is not applied in practice. So Christian Muslims unite. Sri Lanka attacks on churches, Muslim Council raises concerns. It's a very healthy sign that we have been seeing at least on four or five occasions. Muslim brothers and sisters have lent their voice in support of Christians and Hindus. Here the Sri Lanka Muslim Council raised concerns over threats faced by religious minorities in Sri Lanka following the latest attack on two churches. In Ikadua, in a letter to President Mahindra Rajapaksa, Sri Lanka Muslim Council said that Buddhist monks publicly claim to be an unofficial police continue to intimidate minorities. We don't go in length. If you want, you can pass and read this. So these are the four pictures here. You see Sri Lanka Buddhist monks attack a church. You can see this is a video. You can see that family people all take to hiding. This is a family of a pastor. You see this Catholic church. And outside they pray, offer their prayer. Both churches suffered extensive damage with windows and furniture smashed and Bibles burned. The next picture. Every destruction, violent beatings of Sri Lanka Christians and age according to several attacks on Christians through, throughout Sri Lanka have taken place these last few weeks in an escalation of the persecution. Voice of the Martyrs Canada has published it. Buddhist fanatic monks tired against Christians. Catholic non-traditional Protestant churches as well as converts from the Buddhist background face the most of the persecution. You will see the priests and nuns holding a protest. And Illu Bodha Pura, consisting of a group of Buddhist monks, led a protest march against Calvary Free Church and Assembly of God Church. In so this we told you already, we are showing the picture, January 12, 2014. It's been happening. It's not, it's not stopped at all. So here we go in detail. 2,000 Christians gathered in Colombo on Sunday to protest against Perceived lack of religious freedom in Sri Lanka following recent attacks on Christian places of worship by Buddhist extremists. Two churches and a Christian prayer center were attacked on January 12, 2014 by Buddhist mobs claiming the illegal naming to take Buddhists away from the religion. The prayer center belonged to the church of the Four Square Gospel in Pitipana near Colombo was set alight on the same day as attacks on the service of God of Church and Calvary Free Church. So they burnt a church. So this is what you see here. Nidasha, November, as even it has happened earlier in 2009, protesters of Jatika Ella Urumiya, JHU, they all paraded through petrol bombs at church. Pastor Church said to the media that protesters had threatened to kill him if he does not shut down the church. Christian priests and nuns at a church were brutally assaulted. It's very latest to say. August 6, 2013, singlish Christian priests and singlish Christian nuns at a church were brutally assaulted by troops due to the violence at Villivera last week. Lawyers said today, quoting statements they had recorded, the Bar Association of Sri Lanka said, team of lawyers had visited Villivera yesterday and recorded statements from people in the area as well as the doctors who did the injury. The people still live in fear, the city member of BSA told the Colombo Gazette. Here, you see a singlish bishop, Tuesday, August 6, 2013, People who had sought refuge at St. Anthony Church too were attacked by military bishop Albert Malcolm Ranjit. I think people took refuge were singular Christians. So he, let us see what the news is all about. The bishop cardinal Malcolm Ranjit condemned the attack and said it was a sacrilege of for anyone to enter the sacred uh, precincts with arms in their arms and indulge in violence. He said such actions cannot be accepted by anyone. It's always necessary that to preserve the sanctity of sacred premises of any religion. A group of Buddhists devastated the Catholic Church of St. Francis Xavier in Angulana in the Archdiocese of Colombo in Sri Lanka. The vandals smashed one forty three old statue of Mary. The perpetrators tore the tabernacle with the blessed sacrament from the altar, broke it up and set it on fire. 
I think it is very sad really. And 2013 Singhalese and Tamil Christian joint protest on 31, 2014 to protest against the killing of Sri Lankan Christians on 8 August 2013. So these people gathered recent attacks on Christian places of worship by Buddhists, extremist spark protest in the Sri Lanka capital against a perceived lack of religious freedom. World Watch monitor reports that means reports that more than 2,000 Christians gathered in Colmar and in the protest. So these are the singular Christians they are protesting here. And this another where you can see the Tamil Christians, single Christians in, united on January 18, 2014 in Colombo as for Asia News. They observed blacks July. So whatever we say about the militant groups, it's all kind of reaction. The action was on the government side. They are not the disease, they are symptoms. Let us make it, they are not the cause, they are the consequence. We should be very clear. When I read this, you will understand. Colombo, January 28, 2014, Sri Lanka's Black Jewelry is not over it, as the nation is not yet reconciled with the massacre. Christian Solidarity Movement said on Monday at a meeting in Colombo, marking the 27th anniversary of the massacre of up to 3,000 Christian Hindu students that set off the civil war. Catholic Protestant clergy and lay people took part in the event. It was a massive singlish Tamil Christians protest against the Christian Solidarity Movement. So the good news is they are united and they take a protect to the extent possible. So the whole civil war, uh, the beautiful English word is empathy. It was a kind of a one-side attack by the government um, and the military on the other religions. That's why the militants came, though we don't justify. Uh, January, since January 2011, singlish Christians too are killed. The churches are demolished frequently, 100% proof that religious minor cleansing is provided. Sample given here. Now, Sri Lanka targets are singlish Christians and Muslims. Muslims came centuries ago from Arab, Malaysia, Pakistan, South India, Tamil Nadu. Then we go to religious discrimination, singular Christians, all since 2011. This will be very horrifying when you see this. The old story, it will be a good analogy. A filthily rich man admitted his son in a school and told the class teacher, whenever my son does any mistake, beat the poor status boy seated next to my son. My son will learn. The modesty of the government is same and simple. Even singular Buddhists commit mistakes. The army, police, punish, punish the other. Singular Christians are Muslims. Here are the three such instances. It will shock you. 2011, singular Christians are also killed. Uh, from 2011, the BBS and Sri Lankan army attention turned towards Sing Sri Lanka. Singular Buddhist Christians and the churches. 17 churches were attacked and ransacked. Here, singular Christian youth were killed. Two pictures. The third one is a student. So we want to give some explanation to this. In a village, in a suburb, people protested against contaminated drinking water. It had maximum singular Buddhists and a few also singular Christians. But the army came and they killed, they asked their names, they killed three singular Christians. You know, to instill fear in the minds of singular Buddhists. The positive side of it, as we explained in most of the cases, the singular Buddhists also, you know, they they are they they are against the government, and they are, they, you know, the, the boys who take the dead body here, Akhil Dinesh Jayavardhana, his body include many singular Buddhist students. For them, they, well, the government action is atrocious. So the, it's all in one frame. You can see there is in singular Christians and singular Buddhists protested against the contaminated drinking water. There's a middle picture top and right hand side is when the when when the singular Christians are killed, singular Buddhist singular Christians are holding demonstrations. What do you see that? Sri Lankan religious, including Buddhist, Hindus, Muslims, condemn the army attack and killing of singular Christians in Vilivera. Again, the fishermen went on agitation against the price price of the oil price. And it had both singular Buddhists and singular Christians, but singular Christians were targeted. Two people shot, one died instantly. His name is Anthony Varnakola Surya. You can see the singular Christians, fishermen protest against killing the discriminatory action of singular Christians. And uh, here, see, this is very horrifying again, discrimination, gross discrimination, kind of apartheid. Um, a minister went and uh, a government function, he found there some lapse on the part of the officers. 
has a name. He chose one Muslim officer by name, Murshak, and tied him to the tree as a punishment. The order ending uh, incident was that that the, all the officers, whether they belong to singular Buddhism or singular Christian, they all jointly protested against the ministers' action, inhuman action, and a barbaric 19th century action. So here you can see one time ambassador to Soviet Union, um, unfortunately a singular Christian, is also was set on fire as a doctor. His clinic was burnt actually. 17 Christians disappeared. The number very not clear. It must be at least minimum 10,000 Christians are not to be traced. Christians illegally detained and languishing inside the prisons. It's only United Nations Human Rights Council uh, can do something on that. Even even HRC. They are all languishing inside the prisons without any uh, offense committed by them. Then Christians tortured by third degree methods. Here we given a list. We are not going into detail. It will be very disturbing squeezing testicles for kids, boys and men, needle piercing, electric shocks. In those days we stop here. And colonizing, number 20, Christians in those properties including those belong to the churches and temples are taken over and are occupied by singular Buddhists. Since 2011 is happening. Christians and Hindus properties are taken over and occupied by Singla Buddhist. Colonization of North land and property grab Hindus and Christians properties by the Singla Buddhist. They go on a procession and then they occupy the property. Here people protest. You can see Hindu and Christian both religious property temple and church property as well as the individual property are all taken over and uh, people protest against it. Already you can see the colonizing started with the temporary sheds. So it's like kind of a admission. Sri Lanka Army Chief confirms military rule, land grabs in North. Now 25th March 2014, he agrees. Daya Ratanai, Lieutenant General Daya Ratanai has publicly admitted that, uh, that the Northern Province has been under the military rule. His troops, in the name of ensuring stability and security of the former northern war zone, were involved in mass scale land grabs. And uh, you can see again people protest against uh, their land being taken. They keep a board, that's all, the land gone. Tamil Christians, Muslims, Hindus properties are looted, and police are mute factors. And people are driven out of their home, and sad stories. The Tamil Hindu Christians in military occupied areas are being denied the right to livelihood and their right to life and they sleep outside in the street. 21. Hindus and Christian houses damaged by singular Buddhist. You can see a pastor's home badly attacked. All these houses are very small, humble living. The properties are damaged, damaged. Shops. 22. Several thousands of Hindu Muslim Christians became disabled due to Sri Lankan army attack. Is their own people, the children who became handicapped due to it goes to several thousands now who were fortunate to stay alive but they should live the rest of their life in a wheelchair. 23 Sri Lankan army responsible for creation of several thousands of widows and widowers. There is a lot of dispute about people killed, but one thing is clear 80,000 widows are there as per even the government record, that means 80,000 people are killed. So, divide Christians, Muslims, Hindus, make Mary here. A rumor was spread by a minister about a Christian bishop that is making anti-Muslim statements. A big gathering of Muslims called on the called on the bishop and told him that they believe him. He is in a godly service. They appreciate him went away. The minister's exploit did not work. It again another one Hindu temple was opened and very next day morning when they went, the idol was smashed, vandalized. Hindus were shell-shocked. By the time a rumor reached them that Muslims came that night and damaged it. Fortunately, the Hindus went on investigation. They found out by a witness. It was the Buddhist monks who damaged this idol. So much hate for Islam, Christian, Hinduism, and that is the minds of the influential singular Buddhists. This has been exposed by international media, in time, BBC papers. But Buddhism is great. Buddha was born in India. Siddhama Gautama, 490 to 410 BCE. In fact, the person dedicated to him. A few quotes of him, one or two will share. 
holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else you are the one who gets burned lord buddha there is a buddha and buddhism overflowing kindness of lord buddha so here you say in the sky there is no distinction of east and west people create distinctions out of their own minds and then believe them to be true so i think all the quotes are relevant to the single government and uh, the point is that that this all the first one hatred does not cease by hatred but only by love the eternal rule, lord buddha we appreciate sad buddhism the same as invasion by lord buddha it is same even among the majority of buddhist population of sri lanka and all other buddhist nations except a group of group in sri lanka kindness the another name is lord buddha you can see the pictures of uh, these all monks you look at them do you see anybody looking like buddha or kindness in their face so don't jump to conclusion that buddhism is bad you are going to see immediately the buddhist world over particularly south east asian forest shanti swarup bhutan monks free loving japanese monks south korean darling child monks most revered cambodia monks kind vietnam monks most adorable lovers monks motherly thailand monks ever guest with monks compassionate taiwan monks nepalese kid monks god fearing chinese monks with full mongolian monks so everywhere they do in fact united arts requested them to play the role of media mediator mediators because they do meditation they, they are very powerful uh, subconsciously they can do mediation and sort out small quarrels to even fights between nations dear guys your backless one just take this message forward to christians world over now via facebook and email success will be automatic so you are not alone so we told you you are in the company of christians muslims hindus human rights activists media persons writers aid workers political opponents honest government officers so all of you will support you all global christian muslims global hindus will all support you praise the lord greetings in his precious name most beloved god's children the sri lankan tamil singular you are not alone you see a father crying feel before lord jesus when the church was smashed so the lord you know they are all depending on a small tamil population see the scale a tamil population 77 million but world population 7.7 billion the next picture shows you must add 6 zeros after 77 this tamil population if you add 8 zeros after 77 it's world population look at this which side is better world tamil population or world christians muslims hindus world all fit including buddhist i leave it to you so from now onwards the world world will rally begin to and will get you tamil freedom number 2014 should be the deadline but you must all work non stop to achieve it the word of number will kadikum ninga thaniya agilla just follow the guidelines given in this in this presentation totally there are space 28 percent kindly see all the 28 the video will be yours don't miss even one the two conditions must participate kathi yaar theta kodadu buddhi mattume theta vendum great news for the sri lankan christians you are not alone the world world will back you as not you are the lone victim you will be taken aback by the stunning disclosure it will make you disturbed upset annoyed perturbed troubled if you are a christian muslim hindu buddhist and human being the most important truth for you to bear in mind there are thousands of singular buddhists in sri lanka who are true buddhists they have been fighting for tamil human rights and christian human rights it's wrong on the part of only the rulers and the buddhists for all bad things happening there violence against violence no answer as you'll find majority hate this we cannot generalize anything the brain scientists found out that majority of singular buddhist buddhist monks don't like what's happening in sri lanka particularly killing of religious minorities true buddhist monks were brutally attacked by for opposing buddhist the several instances when they came openly and opposed they are good and lovely people the sad story is that the evil which is minor is very dominant and dense all these atrocities please saw ma mother others www.maforarmony.org and get guided kindly stay calm as all religions and great prophets are never preached violence you cannot correct a wrong by another wrong there are several constructive non-violent interested proofs that is shared here which please follow this aspect is showing to the one who has undertaken a communal harmony as his life mission PC ma mother others still language anything of mahatma gandhi 
time to remember Mahatma Gandhi, the great scientist Albert Einstein, what did he say about Mahatma Gandhi? You should be one like Mahatma Gandhi. Generations to come, it may well be, will scarce believe that such a man as this one ever in flesh and blood walked upon this earth. Here are some of the quotes of Gandhiji. To give pleasure to a single lot by a single act is better than thousand nets going in prayer. In a gentle way, you can shake the world. I think you can. You are going to do in a gentle way shake the world. If blood be shed, let it be our own. Let us cultivate the calm courage to die without killing. Now, when it's a case of double faith, faith in God and faith in man, religions are different roads converging upon the same point. What does it matter? We take different roads so long as we reach the same goal. God has no religion, Mahatma Gandhi. So we share one idea to you in case you want to be assertive. Became a GPAN. What is GPAN? G stands for Gandhi. P stands for Patel. Both of them were from Gujarat. They wore different leadership hats. Gandhi ji, known for Satyagraha, and Patel known for firmness. Gandhi ji, when he had any problem with anybody, he will hurt himself. He will go on hunger strike. But Iron Man was different. When India got freedom, 383 nations and Samastanam were there. They all said. We got freedom, we could revive our kingdom and samasthanam, but this Iron Man went and made them to sign the surrender document. So my request to you put GPN after your name, like your degree. People ask, you say, always I'm Gandhi, when I'm not given justice, I'll become Patel, which means I'll become assertive. Not, it's, it's also not violence. So we salute these journalists for their courage, truthfulness, and humanness, Callum McRae, Channel 4. The telegraph, David Blair, DBS, Jayaraj Kalam, Charles, I will in BBC. I think we strongly recommend the best awards for journalists should be bestowed upon these four people. Four people, and in fact, they all conquered our heart. Three of them are British, they conquered their heart. And you can Google for all their reports. Most of the things which we told you, only thing we put it in a proper shape, they all shared different things at different time. But we have to appreciate the courage of this. It's a Callum McRae, Channel 4, Telegraph, David Blair, Charles Avil and BBC. BBC Jairaj is from Sri Lanka, who settled in Canada. His columns are very great eye opener. They should all be recognized for fear of life they've been exposing. This whole thing is organized by United Arts Organization in short called UH. It's a people's movement in the people's era. UH is of the people, by the people, for the people. And so far as will be conducted by each nation by its non-political service organization. United Arts Organization, UH, is one line goal. Children born now and year after ask, what do you mean by war? It's part of Jeevan Shastra for being human being. United Arts, its affairs is conducted by in each country by its national UH, globally led by UH International. UH objective, people's peace, progress and prosperity. UH activity, proactively promote communal harmony. Methods, please see, ma, mother, others. The activities of UH are supplementing and complementing the service of UN. The UN is a great nation. But scary actions do harm people, as explained here. Drawback in its functioning. There's a gross human rights violation in a nation. Finding its demands are not met by the erring nations. The armies of member nations of UN is sent. Mostly innocent people are killed and more people are killed in the war against the nation, the people killed by the ruler of the nation. Thus the treatment is worse than disease. It becomes a kind of a double punishment for people. The U.H. takes people to human era, humans for humans. Any human life is valuable. Human rights violations are happening every minute, everywhere. By the time U.N. takes action, it will be too late. Governments cannot boycott goods and services of any nations unless there is U.N. sanction. In the case of U.H., the action will be instantaneous. The people across nations without any difference will do voluntary boycott of goods and services of Sri Lanka. UH will motivate them to do this after giving 60 days notice to Sri Lankan government. Never be a racist. Color of skin hardly matters. It's color of the heart that's all important. You can see a picture of five people, maybe five different colors. 
left and the top is white right is yellow mango the one on the right at the bottom is whitish indian the left is red indian red color and the left is extreme left is black can we in fourth say that they are same color with different shades we donate and receive blood but we should see whether it's the same blood group but still more important is to see that the blood is hiv aids free but do you ever ask these questions listed below the donor must be my faith nation color on omen is operated we need one bottle of omenian blood a tunisian is operated we need two bottles of tunisian blood a taiwan is operated we need three bottles bottles of taiwan blood a fijian is operated we need four bottles of fijian blood a french is operated five bottles of french blood syrian is operated six bottles of syrian blood serbian is operated seven bottles of serbian blood ethiopian operated eight bottles of ethiopian blood if there's no difference in taking blood we should not feel that they are different from us that's how nature has created us we go one step further today organs are donated received from two people of different faiths it's like almost like automobile spare parts but you are asked these questions listed below the donor must belong to my faith and then only I'll accept the donation we will see only two things so the organ is compatible to our body and still more important is the blood blood is hiv aids free let us take some example only do you ever say one hindu separate one hindu heart is needed one christian is separate one christian kidney is needed a muslim is separate one muslim mouth is needed a jew is separate jews jaw is needed we never say almost all religion we have put it here so if it's a fact that we are created by nature like that it's very unnatural for us to see difference between ourselves so i conclude that don't miss it don't miss it action all important blueprint to make our combined dream come true please we the presentation action all important his columns are very great eye opener this this all be recognized it's a fair of life they been exposing see action all important separate presentation one action now immediate the immediate action is humans for humans day yes here in fourth we should not divide ourselves in name of color religion language and all 10 minutes any time from 10 am to 10 pm on the 10th day of the 10th month october of every year kindly peacefully observe humans for humans day so this year it will come on this october on the day human for human day will be high for highlighting 10 minutes just 10 minutes in human genocide of religious minorities in sri lanka of hindus muslims and christians in myanmar of muslims and christians non violence weapon of the strong so disclosure prepared presented by awakened enlightened seventy of sons master of fiction called by thousands of youth of all faith races languages colors and castes as papa or appa don't miss out don't miss the prime present presentation the disclosures main part one part in english and tamil the many more presentations is left to you but definitely there are presentations similar presentation on attack on religious minorities muslims and christians and now the message is clear it's not for hindu muslim christians get into violence as i told that that two buddhists also don't like this there should be a kind of union of all these religions in a peaceful way they should correct the sri lankan government and they should form that's why they say ma ma says that that globally we are climate change locally we have mosquito we have 200 common enemies waiting to wipe out the human kind from this planet it's time that we forget our difference join together and fight against each other we can visit the website i think this is a message for time being and we'll definitely we'll come back to you thank you and wish you all the best